Thoracic surgeon Brian Louie and his team at Swedish Medical Center are about to perform lung surgery with the help of a robot. Robotic surgery is a team sport because as much as I, the surgeon, control what's going on with the robot, I still depend on the nurse at the bedside. I still depend on my fellow or another physician who's uh, at the side of the bed to help me out. The patient is a 30-year-old bartender. And he's got a congenital abnormality where he's got a piece of lung growing within his, the rest of his lung. And that piece of lung is separated from the main lung and it's infected. So it needed to come out. It doesn't give him any breathing problems. What it does is it gives him recurrent infections, which look like pneumonia all the time. Small incisions called ports allow a camera and two robotic arms to be inserted inside the patient's chest. Each arm has a tool with flexible parts, allowing the surgeon to remove the infected tissue. The magnification of the robotic camera gives you a better, visu better visualization of the anatomic structures. In the corner, Dr. Louis sits behind a console where he sees the surgery in 3D. His feet and hands control the robot's movements. The magnification and the stability of the hands is much greater than me holding on to the instruments myself. Months later, the patient, Jason Skorup, is back on his feet working as a waiter. The physical therapist was in my room the day after surgery, already getting me up, moving me around. Patients report less pain and scarring with robotic-assisted surgery and less blood loss. Post-operative infection rates are about the same as traditional surgery. But for patients like Jason, lung surgery without the robot is much more invasive. We would have made an incision on the side of his chest, spread the ribs open and peered inside. Definitely glad that we went the high-tech route. I was relieved when I woke up and, and realized that it, it, it had gone according to plan and that they didn't have to do the much more invasive uh, surgery. In Seattle, this is Mark Christopher.